Hi everybody, this is Osprey I from MyChartCoach.com and we're going to take a look here at uh, three ticker symbols. We're going to look at AMD, VNCE, and AEZS. Okay, we're going to look at the 15 minute chart for each of these stocks and uh, yeah, I'm going to show you here how they each have a very similar setup and, and what to look for tomorrow. Okay, so first let's look at AMD. Okay, the, the, each candle represents 15 minutes of trading. This is just a three day chart. Notice that this is a, a, a gap down play. You know, there's this big gap here. The candles have been working uh, sideways. And notice how the Bollinger Bands are super tight. This is the upper Bollinger Band here at 1065, the purple line, and the lower Bollinger Band is at 1024. Okay, so so either there's going to be a break above the upper Bollinger Band signaling upside potential or a break below the lower Bollinger Band signaling downside risk. Okay, a drop below the lower Bollinger Band is going to put this uh, low down here back on deck. And so, um, Bulls do not want to see the lower Bollinger Band break. What they want to see happen is they want to see a break above the, the middle Bollinger Band and then a break above the 50-day simple moving average. If AMD can break these, or not 50-day, but the 50 simple moving average um, here at 1060. So so what Bulls want to see is they want to see a break above the middle Bollinger Band at 1045 and then this uh, green line here at 1060, they want to see a break above that level. If that happens, that, that is also lined up with this uh, high close here at uh, at 12 uh, 30 and, and so a break above those levels uh, is going to signal a potential run up here to the uh, top of the gap which is the uh, the top or the the bottom of the gap level which is uh, right here and, and um, this is going to be a key level to break and that is lining up now with the uh, 100 simple moving average at 1196 that is coming down so so if uh, the middle the the close today was below the middle of the lunger band and so it's always a risk to hold a dead cat bounce play and, and a stock that's in a downtrend on the daily chart with a bearish 15 minute chart. And, and so if the middle Bollinger Band turns into resistance tomorrow, that's going to signal more downside risk. Okay. Um, Let's take a look at VNCE. Okay, VNCE is another stock that had this uh, big drop. We were looking for the bounce. And um, if you notice here, uh, the the bounce started uh, yesterday um, with, with uh, all, all this volume. Notice the, the long lower wicks on the candles that, 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 that were accompanied with these giant volume bars. This was the signal that bounce players were loading. Notice that there's this uh, uptrend after this uh, uh, loading session happened. So you've got this, uh, th th this uptrend and what's going on now is the same setup as with AMD so you've got a uptrend coming off of the bounce and the and the candles ran past the middle Bollinger Band notice how the middle Bollinger Band broke here and that was signaling more upside potential and then the middle Bollinger Band held and then it ran to our next target which was the 50 simple moving average and then it pulled back and so now you've got this uh well, um, the the middle Bollinger Band acting as support, and the upper Bollinger Band and the 50 simple moving average is acting as resistance. If it can get a break above those levels, th then you're talking about a potential run up to the 100 simple moving average at 71. If the 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 uh, middle Bollinger Band uh, breaks tomorrow turns into resistance, then you're talking about a drop down here to the lower Bollinger Band, and, and then you could see potentially a, a retest of the, the, the recent lows. And, and so uh, so bulls do not want to see uh, the middle Bollinger Band turn into resistance here. Uh, uh, notice how the candles are coming to a flex point. They're, early tomorrow, there's either going to be a break above the 50 simple moving average or a break below the, the, uh, the, the middle Bollinger Band. There was a close below that level. Um, the the um, key other key level to break is going to be the high close here, and that's going to be um, uh, right here at two o'clock. So, so or or even uh, just slightly above here at two forty-five. So this zone right here, it's all lining up with this fifty simple moving average. This fifty-two uh, uh, a level is going to be the big level to break. If that can break, you could possibly see a run to seventy-one. Uh, fail to break resistance, and it, it'll signal downside risk. Okay, let's look at AEZS. This was another uh, bounce play that we were charting, we're looking for the bounce, and then today that happened. Um, uh, you know, there was some loading as well yesterday on the stock. And, and as you can see here, there was a big consolidation in this uh, 90, 90 to 94 zone. You know, we had put out alerts. 
that if uh, 90 held, you know, that was the key level. Um, you know, if it held, it was going to be the load zone for potential bounce. Um, it did dip at the open um, all the way down here below 80, and then and then it quickly recovered. Um, you know, it, it broke above the middle Bollinger Band right here, and um, that was signaling um, that, that there was upside potential and that it was in play today. And, and the candles ran once again up to this 50 simple moving average, the green line, and then started riding resistance low. Lower. Um, it noticed that that middle Bollinger Band uh, support broke, and then um, the candles were hitting the lower Bollinger Band into the close. Once again, you've got the tight Bollinger Bands, but the candles are below the middle Bollinger Band. What Bulls need to see is a break above that level and the 50 simple moving average, and then and then breaking this uh, high close here at, at 115, and, and and then that will signal a breakout higher. If it, it, the 50 simple moving average and middle Bollinger Band remain resistance, that's going to signal downside risk. Like I said before, it's always a risk to hold a, a, a penny stock that's in a downtrend on the daily chart that's bearish on the 15-minute chart. Okay, so so uh, keep an eye on AEZS. For it to continue tomorrow, it's got to break above the 50 simple moving average and turn that level into support. If that happens, then you can see a potential run to the 100 simple moving average currently at 160. Okay, if you'd like to learn more about charts and technical analysis, please check us out at mychartcoach.com. We like to teach in the chat with uh, more detailed information. It really helps when when you, when you learn live and you can ask questions uh, um, and, and we can explain in very easy, uh, simple to learn uh, uh, lessons on, on how to trade using the charts. All right. Um, have a, have a, you know, thanks for viewing this chart and have a wonderful evening.